What's going on everybody, it's your boy SB's the Trackstar and welcome back to Dancehall Masterclass or welcome to Dancehall Masterclass if you're new. It's been a while between videos. If you're a new subscriber and you've just been binging, you know, this will seem like just yesterday. So just to give a refresher to the all the subscribers to the site. This is the progression that we're working on. In the last video, we added a strum. Previous before that, we added some realism, playing around with the velocity and explaining how to do stuff like that. So this is just a reminder. So let's play it from top, get this fresh in our minds as we continue to work on this melody. So what we are going to do today, so today we are going to add to this melody because we have a good foundation and when making melodies, the less time you can spend on the main melody, the faster you can get the main melody to sound as good as you want it. Let me not say it like that. So. Don't worry about speed. As I said in the last video, getting the main melody to sound good is the most important thing. So if you take your hour, that's fine. Speed will come with time. Cool? So I feel as though we have a good foundation here with this piano melody. So the approach should now be how to complement that or how to build upon that. Right? So we have a piano, a good counter to a piano a lot of the times should be something either totally opposite or something very much the same. So we could use another piano to form a counter melody, basically, simply by duplicating this piano and using higher notes, you know what I mean? So it would basically be layering note, right? So that's what we'll do. So firstly, let's duplicate Omnisphere. And due to the fact that FL Studio has the benefits are the help of ghost notes, you can call it a cheat sheet, basically. So we can use that to our advantage now to build a separate melody here that we can use something very simple so as we already know all the notes let's just do something very simple So there we have a very simple melody. I will call this a top layer melody, basically, just to put a name on it. And the reason why I'm saying that is we have a low melody here, but we also have a second melody, which is also in the same region. It's just not played in cards. So what we'll now do is raise this up on active. And just like we did previously, alt and R, and we'll add some velocity changes to the notes. So 
we have this. Cool. Press accept. Now if we put this back with the other melody, a nice compliment so I like to have the notes play very soft especially when I'm adding a top layer to a piano I'm also going to raise these another octave now another thing that I'm going to do and I spoke about this earlier is mixing while building I'm going to start panning the instrument so I'm going to push the main piano a little bit more to the left and push the high piano more to the right. And we have a, a very nice compliment to the piano. Cool. So in the next video, we'll expand on this further. And basically, I'm just going to use similar methods to lay, not lay, but layer this melody, you know, and turn it from just the piano into this big collection of sounds that kind of fit really well together so basically you could probably call this section of this chapter um sound selection basically because that's what we're going to do a lot of in this in the rest of this chapter so until next time see boys be the track star peace